Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the radiator in your Nissan D21 hardbody pickup truck. This truck is a 1994 with a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine and a manual transmission. See the video description below to buy the exact replacement part I used in this video. Buying it from Amazon is a lot cheaper than say an auto parts retailer and it's the same part anyway. Start with the hoses that run along the intake tube. Gently pull them away from their clips and set them aside. Remove the two bolts that hold the intake tube onto the brackets. Gently pull the intake tube away from the intake and air cleaner box. Remove the two bolts for the intake tube brackets. Set the brackets aside. Loosen the clamp on the upper radiator hose and remove the hose from the radiator. Next, remove the fan shroud. This particular truck has a fan shroud that's equipped with a removable bottom. This eliminates the need to remove the clutch fan. Detach the bottom shroud by pressing the tabs and sliding the shroud towards the motor. Do the same thing for the other side. Remove the bottom shroud from the engine bay. There are four Phillips head screws that secure the fan shroud to the radiator. Two at the top and two at the bottom. Once the Phillips head screws are removed, pull the fan shroud upward while holding it close to the radiator to clear the clutch fan. Open the drain valve and let the radiator drip into a catch container. Once the radiator is finished draining, it's time to detach the lower radiator hose. A little WD-40 on the hose clamps will help get things moving. Loosen the clamp and remove the hose from the radiator. Now I remove the radiator mounts. Again, some WD-40 goes a long way. Start by loosening the 10mm center bolt, then remove the two 10mm bracket bolts. Do the same thing for the other side. At this point you can just grab the radiator and pull upward to remove it. There are two rubber grommets that go inside the lower radiator support that might be stuck to the old radiator. Make sure they're in place inside the engine compartment before you installing the new radiator. A little WD-40 will help to aid reinstallation. Just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the old and new radiators to make sure they're the same design. You'll notice the replacement radiator has barbs for the transmission cooler. If you're installing a radiator in a truck with a manual transmission, you can just leave these capped off, or you can use them as an engine oil cooler or something. Make sure the drain valve on the new radiator is closed tightly. Lower the new radiator into the engine compartment. Make sure the bottom pegs on the radiator are properly seated in the rubber grommets of the lower radiator support. Disassemble the upper radiator mounts by removing the 10mm center bolt. Slide out the center sleeve, then insert the rubber grommet into the new radiator. Insert the center sleeve with the washer side facing the mount plate, then install the center bolt. Before tightening any bolt, repeat the same process on the other side, and then start tightening the 10mm bolts that hold the plate to the body. Finally tighten the center bolt. If your truck has an automatic transmission, this is where you'd reconnect the transmission oil cooler hoses. If you have a manual transmission, just leave the barbs capped off. 
disconnect the lower radiator hose and tighten the hose clamp. Now it's time to reinstall the fan shroud. Before installing the shroud, I find it makes the job much easier to pre-tap the two lower Phillips head screws into the new radiator. These screws thread themselves directly into the radiator metal, so it's very important to make sure they're going in straight or they could cause a leak. Repeat the same process for the other side. Lower the fan shroud in between the fan and the radiator. Tighten all four Phillips head screws. Reconnect the overflow tank hose. Reinstall the removable lower portion of the fan shroud. Make sure it pilots into the groove on both sides. When it's fully inserted, you'll hear a click. Connect the upper radiator hose and tighten the hose clamp. Place the intake tube support brackets and loosely thread in the 10mm bolts. We'll leave these loose for now until the bolts for the intake tube are in place. Snap the intake tube into place and thread in the 10mm bolts. Once everything's lined up, tighten all four bolts, starting with the bracket bolts. Reroute the hoses that run along the back side of the intake tube. And you're done. Fill the radiator with the correct mix of antifreeze and distilled water, and your hard body should run cooler than ever. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.